Sova comms can be dangerous. Already on the side here, Ascend are going to be grabbing the plants. This is a strategy we've seen plenty over in EMEA at least. Coming out of bat, putting the wall down, and grabbing that post plan position. Bone Cold trying to be sneaky up in the corner, but it looks like it's going to be a very delayed retake from Supermassive. Blaze, Bone Cold just jumped on top of the wall! He's a madman! Yeah, losing that early player could be a little bit more of a problem. They need to almost oh, get... Oh, 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 what's happened? He's got a little bit lost in the mix, and somehow this has come back into a 3v2 scenario. The time ticking, they're just defusing. It's left on the star zone, but he finds himself all three. What a start from Ascend. He just gave them a few warning shots. But Anything down for Ascend, quickly gaining control over Hookah. And as they come up through long, they lose a player. Sure, Izzy is low, but that's a trade that they're more than happy to make. Now the numbers thinned out on sight, but still able to keep the kills going their way. Turco, caught by the flash, is going to be taken down, and now it gets dangerous, Tom. They can actually retrieve these weapons on yep. sight and have a much better chance of closing it out with the spike plants pretty much uncontested. It, it's weird. It looked like SMB almost you will not ba got baited in a little bit by those extra rotations and pulled things back at least a little bit more with the fact that they went through the TP and managed to still have two players on site. The res, though, has changed things a little bit. The perfect scenario for CNET is he gets kills, he gets a res, and now they have themselves a man advantage. Exactly. That post-plant res coming through puts Ascend way in the lead. The man advantage, the weapons retrieved. This was a bonus round, one that Supermassive Blaze wanted to get away with in relatively flawless fashion, and yet they struggled to even save a weapon. Izzy running for the hills towards the A site. This is a guaranteed third for Ascend. Yeah, big round. Again, Ultimate's playing a decent part, but it's good. Like, they had the three-man stack initially, they had the bait TP, because a lot of people had is, is CNED going to play as well outside of his bedroom? I think, I think that was something that people were sure. wondering. Well, he's 8-1 in the first four rounds, and currently with over 400 ACS, so, uh, it's going all right! Yeah, they're going to make their way onto the side here, Zeke. Trying to backstab as they go for the plants. Position still being watched. Spike planted. Still being stared at. He can't really make a move just yet, but as he swings into Pora, that's the opening kill for them. Spike down, ascend with full control. The only thing that can potentially help Supermassive Blaze out, you know, we got Izzy rotating in, operator in hand, and of course the Seekers to reveal a couple of these players. And Brave the furthest forward. He's going to try and use a little bit of utility to try and hold them back. But the time has been ticking and they really haven't got much control whatsoever. The peek in is almost just the bait as they also have Zeke alongside. And I wonder if they're just going to have to back out of this one. The clock too far gone. A solid flash at least to catch up another. But Zeke is just going ham. Izzy has to try and run away to save the operator. And he should. At least oh! get one. No! Zeke actually hits the spotted. I'm surprised that they're still moving in. Oh! Izzy takes his moment to strike and Zeke will be breathed inside of Hookah but actually I better hold on to that thought because Ascend are still moving up through A and Izzy is still picking them off. Oh, the, rest. It out. the rest is gonna be the peak in though. More than prepared and he misses the knives. It slipped away. It was looking so good. He just wanted the two players. Somehow this round keeps swinging back and forth and they've got an aggressive position of Pora. He's so good with this Sheriff. Never missed that initial shot and might just be able to get around the corner. He's not even going to be spammed either. In fact, he's willing to commit the ultimate and let it just die down, holding the positions to stop them from planting. And with 20 seconds left, they need to make a move. Killez now low. One hit from this Sheriff and Pora is going to be able to take the first, possibly even the second. 13 seconds as the final shot rings out. Super massive Blaze are on the board. Allows for the rotate, the four-man stack on this A site as they push through and Zeke is up with the showstopper to take down the first. The trades come in thick and fast and that will be an easy A site, at least you would imagine. Yeah, Turco, I don't know how he gets anything done from this scenario. He needs to catch someone on the fadeaway, and well, that's exactly what he does. This actually starts the rotation troll. If he can kill off Viper, maybe he can at least oh. remove that utility, and he hits the pixel shot to turn it into a 2v2. Absolutely massive post plant no longer to be played with, but unfortunately... Tur Change on the on this A site. Like, that, that is now every single time. Th like, that that round, they basically had a full set that they had alongside that, as well as the smoke in heaven. Izzy couldn't really get the aggressive oh. fix he might have wanted. It's 
time around, that's not the case. He tries to take the boom bottom legs of Bone Gold. Good damage done, but Supermassive Blaze now have to make it work. Good uh -oh. Molly, good slow. Four is in trouble. He tries to get out of the corner, but there's nowhere to run. Seekers confirm they're all here. Good flash, but the follow up from Bone Cold. He keeps on connecting on two HP. The man has survived, and the two v two commences ascend. Still looking to get that plant in play. I'm surprised more didn't come from the Hunter's Fury, like they did a little bit of damage, but the fact is one of the players was actually stuck. Brave, though, has come through, and it's on to this man once again. CNED to try and clutch it up, but it'll be Rust to take it away. A big round from Supermassive Blaze, surprisingly. Oh, that was through the smoke! Zeke up on top, takes down Turco, Rust is trying to recover, but he can only get the first. This is looking very shaky for Supermassive Blaze, and another response from Ascend. The res comes in a five down. The Spectre, nice kill by Izzy. If that could make the difference, this was looking almost like, well, a definite set. Like, going for this just seemed impossible, but the fact that they've caught out the flank, it gives them a little bit more space to try and make it to the oh. side. Or okay. He's going to pick up one already, but they haven't cleared Zeke from the angle. The paint shell will hold them back a little bit longer. Pora hitting every shot he can, but they just don't have the time. And it just seems like whenever there's an opportunity for Supermassive Blaze to finally get themselves a couple of rounds in a row, Ultimates are there for Ascend to just win it for them. Be able to connect. I would have expected him to hit that. There's been a few of those this game where it's like, I, I expect him to get those kills. Yeah, go to position to counter the AX execute we've seen before, and the wall was down, but it is in fact a beat play. Oh, the fire is down on the site. The wall bang is good. Pora fighting from inside his Viper's pit. He wants to stop them from getting onto the site. He's good for two, but that's all he can do. The shutdown of CNED makes this a little bit more doable, though, with Zeke and Killes trying to get it done but he almost has to try and find the player within this ultimate. And Russ, as said, he needs to do a lot, and that is the old down. That's going to be Zeke, stuck in the corner. The reveal won't quite catch him, but the fight, it gives away his position. He has to run down the clock. The operator swinging in to take him down. Zeke is trying to avoid it, jumping up and down, and it actually works. Although the shot comes in from Izzy, the time is far too low. Ascend our up to eight. Bone Cold, the lurking IG, even go in and pop that Blade Storm. Yep. Is he giving the off to Turco? But he can't get out! No. And he gets caught up! A wall, a gap in the wall that they could never have seen coming! Paul is left alone! That was a chance, an opportunity for Supermassive Blaze! ...in the world and making that happen. This time, the aggression in through Hookah is finally going to come through. And is he able to claim the first before going oh. down? Turco with a huge whiff! And that could cause the massively Hunter Fury connecting quite a few pulses, but they've lost the sight, and again, it's going to have to be a retake with a man disadvantage. Spike I'm planted. not too much of a believer in these at this stage. The Cosmic Divide has been in for an incredibly long time, but will it... Oh, okay. Starzo's just got walking across. He's been caught. It gave them something, but the rest of the players are a little bit far behind. Brave almost going in solo, and it still puts them with a disadvantage on this retake. Poor, he's been one of the shining lights for this squad so far. A second kill to give them a chance, but it's the one versus one. It needs to be Rust. Normally so good in these clutches, but not this time. It's on the B side. There is a three-man stack here and a nasty close position by Starzo. He's going to flash out and confirm there's still some players there. And he's playing contact on his teammate. Oh! Never mind! He's getting pushed on! Poor is already in! He's taken down two! The third on backside goes his way as well! This was a pistol round that Supermassive plays desperately needed if they're to have any shot of taking this map and making the massive comeback. And now they're in a 4v2 that they surely can't lose. Well, that clear Turco out. I don't think it's going to matter too much. The only one man standing, and CNED picking this round. They've got their two vandals to play with. The sand win the early duel with Bora going down. The pressure being applied through middle. The spray for Zeke doesn't actually land, but the trade is quickly found. Ascend maintaining their man advantage. Killez is going to give up a lot of control. And as that wolf goes in, the tiger is returned on the other side. Brave desperately wants to get this done up close. The Spectre in play, but now he's forced into a ranged fight. Tickled up. And Not over facing a few low players as well on the other side. I, I think even an extra kill here for Supermassive Blaze would be good. If they win it, well, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure that was what exactly to plan. Just popped in his teammates' face. Here they come. Here He's they come. Outside. Are they all going to go They're through They're rallying together? through. This is going to be a Team TP. <laughs> You're dropping pistols in just to let them know we're on our way, buddy. There's a couple of us who want to say hi to you. And a flash comes in first. Still, though, they haven't followed through.
They're waiting. A second flash perhaps being primed in a number of seconds. He's keeping the Vandal! He's keeping the Vandal! He's keeping the Vandal! He's, he's, what? He's throwing! They're giving him two! Hey, buddy! Take our weapons! Left. We've got nothing left! We'll come and knife you! What is this? They 100% don't know that he has an SMG. There is no this. way they know he has an SMG. Because they've just given him a rifle upgrade. Are they're they gonna just going to leave him? What? They're... And CNED. Well, he's, he's going hunting. He's facing into Brave. The only player you'll ever see with a Phantom on their side. But he gets the close range battle. Yeah, you can see he was expecting them to be slightly further down, aiming at their torso as they came around. It's going to be a bit of an awkward position for Starzo. The flash lands, but none of the bullets do. And Ascend, you might not think it, but they're on a full buy here. Supermassive Blaze just completely running over them. And Five finding that B site with ease. Two players spike. Shrinks back up, but I don't think he's going to get close enough to, to gain anything. Be a play being made. The rares. Oh, it's going to be a line. He might need to bring himself back. Never mind. Cned, while dodging every single bullet, has found one through the smoke. Bear in mind, he's using a vandal, so they know where he is. Oh, and he's got a second as well. He lit on cold. Starzo spraying his own bone cold. He's walking into it, and that keeps him away. Pora's going to just hunt him down right afterwards. Uh, Tickles him up, but somehow doesn't take what? him down. And Bone Cold wins that fight. Low on HP, healed right back up. Super Massive Blaze are finding it hard to get any ground. Eventually, CNED will fall, but there is so much lore. Actually, ended up as a bit more of a burden than anything else, but they might not expect two players, and I don't think it's going to matter. Zeke will close it out using the shotgun to his advantage and ascend of 12. I mean, this... I can't. Massive Blaze are going to be fine going into that map. I would say it's their best map. So realistically, they're going to be incredibly confident. Bone Cold, they're just fighting on the edge of these smokes, oh. fighting around the smokes, and there's going to be a peek in. He's just hitting every single shot. Ultimate online. He can now deny them any extra space if they try to go for this quicker push. That's oh, exactly what he's going to do. They've been forced out of position. The spam will get two from Starzo. This map is done. Russ needs to clutch out a one versus four. Yeah, nice orbit through the smoke. Getting himself around the edge. Well, oh, Russ was ready for it. Defend. Up next, Supermassive Blaze won't have as easy of a time necessarily when they move. Blaze trying to bait out some of those early positions. You can see the turret uses a bait and switch. And it's that right click to just take Pora's head in. But so many players pursuing him. He needs help and doesn't have it. Cleanly shut down. Now it's time to look towards the site where CNET is quickly connecting one to Turco. Making this a little bit more difficult. He's a little cautious of getting spammed down. Star Zone, not quite feeling the no. same caution. <laughs> Do they expect? They don't oh, expect they it. Don't. They don't expect. They don't check. That could have been Five everything, down. but actually Zeke's only going to get one. It does give time though, and that's the main thing that's needed at the moment for Ascend. They're already going to put down left. another grab. Yeah, well, the peak coming back in, and it's just not going well for Brave. It's Bone Bora. Dropping down the turret, it's broken from further away, allowing Bone Cold to catch them by surprise, but even while being pulled, Pora is able to take down one. Now, dealing with the turret, just in time as well, with 29 HP left, that could have gotten scary. These fights are never going to be ideal for a sand with the weaker weapons. Oh. I don't know if they'll expect Russ to feel. It's a little bit of a whiff, and Killers actually finds another one off his utility on the site. This now becomes a really dangerous scenario for Supermassive Blaze. They're going to use the Paranoia just to hold the remaining players back. Give them an opportunity to get a plant and stick it down. But the problem is, they're re-aggressing already. The push coming through. Killers gets his third kill of the round. It's left all onto one, and CNED will close. It weakened enough that the turret almost kills up Pora, and then the extra utility is there to close him out as well. The problem now though is that Pora's on a pistol, and this man is incredibly good with this gun. CNED, he takes two to at least keep it. Without taking a fight, he's already spotted on Starzo and taking him down, okay. This now gets scary, Ascend of a man disadvantage. Zeke heard the drone over there on the B site, so Zeke will maintain his position. The problem is when that recon comes through, it kind of gives it away. There's someone on the site. 12 seconds left. They need the plant and they need it now. They're coming right into the Odin. They might not even know it's in play just yet. 
He's got a, basically a full nine to play with plenty of bullets to take them down, and they run into the spray. Absolutely no way. That is a round one for Ascend. Four to zero. This A site. Super massive plays are as well. They're full committing to it. A late lurk by Pora coming in through middle. They claim the site and now look for the plant, but in comes CNET. Gonna make it at least a little bit costly. There's absolutely no way that this player steps up above. He's challenged CNET and he's received exactly what you'd expect. Another CNET just keeps on going. Three kills with the off. A tag into another. And this is getting scary with just one down below. Trapped in. Russ needs to make something happen while Pora is making the short play, lurking out, trying to find space, but CNET picks up, oh, most definitely, the jump up, I, I didn't believe it was going to come through from Bray, but I guess he thought the birthday look was with him, nice shot, CNET, again, punishing, getting the trades oh back, he's on for a second, and now he's aggressing in, he's being revealed, though, up in the corner, the updraft, oh, not quite getting him out of there as safely as he would have hoped, the heal just about saves him, popping him back up on the basically full HP, good tag, oh, it's the kill as well, Zeke, Blank, and what are they going to find? They're going to find CNET, oh, but in fact, time. they do find him. They yeah. take him down. This is a pretty good position to play from. Zeke jump spotting. I mean, he could even be taken down. The timing is right. One versus one on the site. Good damage. Turco okay. delivers a third kill of the round, though. He's not going to have no the res time. online. But it is a 1v1, the best chance for Supermassive Blaze so far. Yeah, by the looks of it as well, Bone Cold is out of stars. So for utility, he's not really going to have anything. It just comes down to the straight up gunfight, which, well, you'd probably bank on Turco most of the time, and he is going to get the rep. Great play by Pori. Yeah, from the start to the finish there. He even manages to finish off Bone Cold, not the player he was initially attempting to challenge. This is a fantastic opening. They're going to use that Killjoy lockdown to try and get in towards the site. But they're being pushed on. Oh no! Still winning the duels as they go, but Kill has up on behind, able to come out of there with two! The lockdown will still come into effect, but it gives them a man disadvantage as they come back in. Starzo even has a res to play with. Now there's no one really readily available to pop a res on. He's already used his wall, so up in heaven, he can't get that player back online. The res is out of the round. This is where Supermassive Blaze need to turn up. Your duty is not hey, he's actually the rest of Oh, and you both players! Oh, oh, within a second, Pora! He's standing. gonna find himself a fourth. And it's left on to Izzy, as said. It's been a little bit rough for him so far, but this time he will land the shot. They're gonna have a big retake play from Ascent, but they also have a lockdown to play with, Tom. And one of their own. It still seems like maybe a little bit of confusion as the position's currently being taken. The wall boost for Turco might not necessarily be expected, but the afterplant's looking stellar. Again, you've got Pora waiting on the lurk. Sinan already going to be dropped, and now we see the Cosmic Divide thrown in to try and separate these players, but if anything, they've just given a safe spot to Turco to just sit behind them. It is not going well at all for Ascend in this round, and the afterplant looking incredible. Yeah, Star Zone's trap, not a chance of getting- Need to get frags with the AWP, the Hunter's Fury wasn't supposed to kill, just to reposition, but both shots miss. Izzy then pops the ultimate, moves towards the site, but he's pushed back right into the hands of Star Zone, waiting for him. The kills are going their way though. Supermassive Blaze, here to fight and here to win with 50 seconds on the clock. They still need to deal with Star Zone, and he is bringing this back into the realm of possibility for Ascend, the timing so poor, and he just about gets taken down. Yeah, Turco as well is already watching this flank. It was everything for Zeke to get that kill, but they had him sandwiched in. And now the only one remaining is Cena to try and face off. Well, I was going to say versus four, but it's now down to three. And Turco will unbelievable. Now you see exactly what we were talking about towards the start of this series. When we said that Ascend... Bone Cold can change things a little bit. He's watching for the wall boost up, but never mind. His head's been taken off anyway. Again, they have a couple of players around to try and... I'll just lock it down, but oh, Starzo would have to go absolutely ham. He does have his res available to him to bring a teammate back, but if anything, he goes for that now, teammate dead again. Yeah, I mean, he'd be dead before he even got to the body. That's the thing. And I think he's just been spotted. Yes, he has. There's the tag on the wall. You see, they're saying he's close right, and Brave is going to take it down. In comes the Ares, but not good for those kind of fights. This is looking like a guaranteed 7 for Supermassive Blaze. A hero is needed, and it's not seen at this time around. It falls to Killez. He's been huge before, and they know he's going for the lockdown. They're going to push him down right away. Killez deals with the lockdown pops. Now he just needs to hold on to this position. There's no one coming in through heaven. They've got one, too. But they've popped their own. <laughs> They're going to be happy to keep him locked in position. In fact, 
He's gonna push right afterwards. He's still looking for kills. He's taking down the first, swapping over the weapon, gonna go to destroy it. And he oh. gets it done as well. The other player is backed off. This could actually be huge. One player even got detained. Down goes the turret. He taps the defuse. It's all a ruse. Trying to bait them into the open. And eventually, maybe double up on the kills. Let's see what they can do. Super massive blaze. Getting aggressive, but CNET's here to play. The dash didn't oh, quite go according hey. to plan, but the kills certainly did. They don't expect it. Ah! And Russ is able to take down two. That makes it doable. Bone cold on 20 HP, but a big clutch from Turk. This guy has been insane so far, Tom. This might be too much to ask, though. Yeah, especially oh, that's, with... That's the, the thing is, this is a position that Turco... Gusting crossfire, even going to pull in a star and a turret to try and leave him out. Although he does check. He was aware. He was. It doesn't make a difference. Yeah, but there were three. During the last half, but Pora was incredibly impactful. The one big disappointment for me from Supermassive Blaze has been Ross. Uh, he swapped skins. He's no longer using the L That's flame it. like the rest of the team. So, you know, really, team Bro. synergy suffers there. But, jokes aside, we're looking at a pretty aggressive push out of Ascend. All right. Into a smoke they went, and well, they didn't get anything done for it. Brave quickly shutting them down before he falls himself. But that was a uh, blinking you miss it kind of round. <laughs> really full and I just saw Pora then, like, kind of look up and go, <laughs> he just returned it a little bit. Keep the energy up. Then a nice round for a sand again. I don't know, man. I, I think it's just social media. We got a lot of love for each other. Oh. What? Okay, there you go. Burnt Cold's back on the board. He's found himself a kill straight through the wall. Now, do they expect the re-aggression of Russ? In fact, they're almost going to try and completely ignore him. Burnt Cold finds another one. It's all fallen apart. This B-Main aggression, something they attempted in the pistol, and it failed then as well, Mitch. They now have Brave to try and hold on to this site and well with the utility that's currently available he can't even afford to like shoulder peek this well, the spike's gonna meltations but it, it was nothing that was fallen for by their opponents and oh, again I, I feel like brave has got away with that peak a few times now just going into the own smoke i have the vibe will at least give them a chance to section out some of these players this boathouse but they need it. to try and catch some of the remainder left. before they can take the site Boathouse blocked, and now it's time to rush into the site, taking the fights as they go, but down goes the Odin. Zeke dealt with. Izzy pops out with the blade storm for some close uh -oh. range fights. We call that one a Sean Gares. He's whiffed it completely as we go into the 3v3 with very little time. Ascend can't really get that spike planted. How are they going to be able to close in the distance? They need the kill so quickly. Bone cold. Good for uh, it, but time is gone. The round already super massive. Blazes. Uh, you One of those things, man. Try to play with your teammates and it's it's the wrong decision. <laughs> That's why I always bait. It doesn't work Two. The problem is they don't really have much space around it. They do, however, have the kill joy all. That They do. That's going to buy them a lot of time. Delaying it down, that mid-peak. Great shot by Izzy, a marshal in hand. Only one shot if he hits the heady, and that he most certainly does. Starzo has spotted a player dropping down the marshal, poking and prodding at him. Hopefully the slow will be enough to keep him back. As Starzo closes the distance, Pora thinks he's gone undetected. Uh, yeah, what? He has? Did he? Okay, there oh. we go. He'll eventually be taken down. That could have been incredibly awkward. Backside, look how low Russ is. With a res coming in, they do not want to lose Russ down below. Oh, that bullet! It went right by his face. They know he's there. They've taken him out, and now the res luckily has put them into a 2v3. But a tough one, as again, time could have been the enemy, but the spike will be planted. Oh, they've got their own lockdown, try and deny them the initial push, but they're just going for it. They're going to try and run through, and Starzo is there. He saved them in this round to nine, and this is where things really are troublesome for Supermassive Blaze. They invested a decent amount into the last round, but I do wonder... If that's going to be a position where they now have nothing to be expected. Oh, These players are worried about the guy in main, but now they've spotted him from Ascend. Yeah. All waiting outside. It's the right call. Three players on this site. If they can trade effectively, sure, it's going to go great, but they need to shut this man down early, and that's exactly what they do. Great kill on Izzy now, tucked in the corner. It's even expected they were pre-firing and spraying away. Pora, the last man alive, and they'll bring Zeke right back into the round, bought back by the res. This is an almost unwinnable clutch. In fact, Pora's got the worst weapon of them all. We saw a weapon here or there, some specters, but this man only him. has the sheriff. Sure. He can do a lot with it, but in a 1v4, the pack mentality I of Ascend, the there's so <laughs> much with here, and yeah, the turret is going to be problem number one.